How to Clean Out Your Wardrobe Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Cleaning out your closet can be a daunting task, especially if yours looks like this. But getting rid of the stuff you haven't worn since 8th grade can make it easier to find that specific something you normally spend hours looking for. Step 1. The Money Pile The first pile of clothing you'll make will be worth some money. These are clothes that you don't wear anymore because of personal taste, or they just don't fit you anymore. These items are name brand, and you probably spent a pretty penny on them. Jess Zeno of the Style Network knows the ins and outs of buying and selling clothes. When you're selling items, you want to make sure it's something it's worth buying. Um, you want to make sure it's of good quality because someone's, why would they buy it if it wasn't? If it still has the tags on it, obviously. Um, if it was an evening gown or, or an event dress you wore to, you know, whatever fancy thing you went to uh, and you're just not wearing it anymore, it's something that you can sell. Try selling to a consignment shop. Many consignment shops have different policies, so be sure to call ahead or visit the shop's website prior to going in to sell your items. Have some consideration for the person who's buying it and really assess how much it's worth. If it's not going to be worth your while to even ship it, donate it. Someone can use it a lot more for free. Step 2. The Embarrassing Pile this pile will consist of clothing that you never wear and will never wear. You're probably even a little embarrassed to own them. Put this box of clothing in your back seat of your car, not your trunk, you'll just forget about it, and donate these items to a thrift store. Retain the donation receipt for tax purposes. Step three, the saved pile. These are clothes you wanna wear, but which need to be altered or fixed. These clothes are worth saving. Spending $10 to have a tailor hem your favorite skirt is much cheaper than replacing it entirely. Take it to a dry cleaner, take it to a tailor, fix up the stitching, keep it on a, a really great hanger, um, don't wash it too often because it will um, kind of kill the fabric. You can extend a piece if you really love it. Step 4. Questionable items. You may have a hard time deciding which items to part with. Here are some good rules of thumb to stick by. When you're going through your closet and you'd like to uh, get rid of some stuff, possibly donate, you want to look for the items that, first and foremost, you haven't worn in a year. If you haven't worn it in a year, get rid of it. That is the golden rule. In a couple of weeks, that you know teal blue feather hat is not going to be in anymore, but you've already spent the money on it. Do you keep it? Chances are it was inexpensive enough at like a Forever 21 that you can just get rid of it and when it does come back into style, you buy it again. If you do end up keeping some items you don't wear very often, put them in a storage bin at the back of your closet so they won't crowd your closet. Step 5. Keep it up. Repeat this routine every few months at the beginning of each new season, and don't forget to keep your closet organized. I really make sure that all my hangers are the same. I have no wire hangers. I make sure that um, the items are stored with uh, like colors and um, pieces. My skirts with my skirts, my t-shirts with my t-shirts, that kind of thing. Keep the clothes you wear the most at the front of your closet, and digging through piles of clothing will soon become a thing of the past. Done.